There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. And this is Chasm the Rift. Oh. So, if it's anything like Quake... Oh, it looks very like Quake. Okay, you hit Escape, and you'll see there is options to uh, rebound controls. So, I'm going to do that, and get back to you. Okay, we have started the game. ...word of a disaster from one of the power stations. The last report on its status contained data showing a progressively increasing leak of electric energy. So, this guy is lip-synced and fully voiced. That's interesting. At first it was considered a malfunction of the main generator. However, a careful investigation revealed that all the components of the system were functioning normally. Okay, that's very dry, thank you. increased to catastrophic levels. Yep, Time Strikers, uh, Strickland. Oh. The rapid Hello. loss of energy may explain the appearance of these creatures. Oh, Strickland, you wisecracking nerd. Based on our experience from previous operations... Uh, okay, 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 so, okay. Yep. You will be dropped in the area of the, the generator of the main section. Your main assignment... Okay. It has been some time since any new... Are Get we ready. in, like, this team Ready. huddle or something? <laughs> They're yeah. awfully close to me. Alright, I guess we'll do it. So, uh... This is the game, and it appears to be, I might be wrong about this, very quakish, but uh, it's got mouse support, sort of, as in you can look up and down, you've got mouse look, uh, I can use WASD as controls, which is nice, but I think A is also set to look at the minute, so let's fix that, briefly. Uh, set controls... The strafe right is D, and uh, look up. Ah, look up is also A. Let's just set that to I, and we shall continue. Right. Oh, that's much better. Except that uh, I think S is looking up as well. Ha! Huh. Uh, let's set that. Uh, yeah, center view is S. Let's just set that to the number nine. Okay, we finally have our controls in place. Oh, bad guy. Well, that was easy. Okay, pick up some bullets. And, uh, yeah, this is this is pretty smooth, I have to say. It's got that kind of uh, Unreal Quake-style speed to it. I mean, you can really move along at a fair clip. Uh, but, yes, it's like that, but it's not 3D accelerated. We'll pick up that key card. We could have got in through the window, I guess. Oh, this is looking very promising, I have to say right now. Right off the bat, um, provided I don't get horribly motion sick, this, the atmosphere, you listen to the music, just droning in the background, very nice. You don't need a key to make this open. Okay. What's that? Oh, right, that worked. Oh, enemy! It's like a grunt of some description. Oh, look at that! Decapitation! Nice. So, that was very impressive, I have to say. I, I am fully enjoying myself so far. I might have to set a timer for this. There we are. Uh, this could go the 20 if it keeps playing like this. So, you don't actually activate the doors. Oh! No! No, 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 no. I was hitting its tail, and it did nothing. The hitbox was somewhere else. Obviously the mouse look, as you can see, isn't terrific. It's very old school in that respect. I wonder if somebody's made a source board of this. Oh really, you can't clear that? Come on, man. <laughs> He's lacking the agility, we'll go the long way round. Because I need that health after uh, my horrific encounter with that uh, xenomorph-like thing. You know, like the, the face huggers in, uh, in Alien. Oh, whoa! Hello! So, he's a rocket launcher guy of some description. 
just see if we can choose him. Oh. Another decapitation. Huh. So that door's locked. Wait, what did I do? I did something. Uh, I guess we can head down here. Oh, another rocket guy. Ow. Not very accurate. He says, decapitating him again. Look at that, it looks a bit like the fallout masks. Which makes sense, because they're probably based off the same sort of thing. Okay, we've got some nice little turbines here. Look at that go. You know, for, for 97, just judging from the level design at the minute, it feels like a very sort of uh, flat plane. Um, oh. Excellent, you can use doors for cover. Sweet. I think I'm decapitating them each and every time. Oh, there's somebody around there. Uh, can I shoot through there? Yes. So you can shoot through objects. And they really, really love their decapitations here. But yeah, for 97, what I was previously saying is technically, aside from the lack of 3D acceleration, this is running superbly. Um, and the only, the only sort of thing that I'd notice that would sort of uh, make it seem less like Quake is the... Uh, there doesn't seem to be much of a 3D sort of plane. Do you know what I mean? It, it all seems on one level. Like the, uh, the actual level itself. So I don't know if that's by design or a technical limitation. But it all seems the same height. Now we unlocked something here. Was it this? Yes it was. Oh. Some enemies over there. I'm being a bit cautious because... You know, it's, it's, it's proper FPS. You can die. Oh. Get back here. Ah. Stop standing in the open, James. Ugh. Down to 54 health. I could die here. In the first level. How embarrassing. Locked. And this was classic FPS design. You'd have a maze-like map, which I can bring up with tab here. That wasn't bound. That's just the way it is. Yes, you can see here. It's all one level. It's all very, uh, very similar in that respect. I have a feeling if I step on those, something bad will happen. So, oh, that's the turbines, right? Correct? So, we don't need to pick up any of that. Did that help? Am I helping? They did say something about a turbine, right? His jumping is poor. Look at that. Ugh, no clearance whatsoever. Uh, I feel like I've got to the right place. Mission objective completed. Source of additional power turned on. Go to the helipad. Hooray! I flipped the correct switch. Now, to make it back. I wonder if they've... Uh, They've added additional monsters on the way back. You know the way sometimes they can spawn these things? The other question I have to ask is, where's the helipad? I'm gonna get hopelessly lost here. Aha. Is, is this the helipad? No. Uh-oh. Guys, you dropped me down here. I'm back. Come get me. Ah, where's the helipad? So, I guess we go through there again. And uh, I may have to stop this early, and I'll explain why shortly. And it's, it's nothing to do with what's going on with uh, the game. It's more to do with me. Maybe like, oh, shotgun. Sweet. Let's try that out. Oh yes, that's that's tasty. That's tasty. 
Uh, yeah, this is starting to make me motion sick. Um, so I don't know how much longer I'll play it. But yeah, it's, it's suitably impressive. If I can find the helipad. Is, is it over here? Authorized personnel only. Uh-oh. I'm in the wrong place here. Is this the way to the helipad? Is that ammo I need to pick up? No. I'm waiting for one of these to- A monster in it! There it is! Yep. Oh, he felt that. Pick up some ammo for my shotgun. Ah. Oh. Hey, you can dismember them! Sweet! So you can blow off arms and stuff, if you're accurate enough. Helipad fence removed. Go there, you will be picked up. Ah, this is the old FPS design for you. Maze-like structures, where you have to go from one switch to the next in order to uh, to get to the helipad. But I don't know where the helipad is. You said a fence was removed. Hey, that's the helipad. Okay. Well done, soldier. Not bad for your first mission. After you switched on the wind generators, we were able to restore the output of the power station. Okay. What now? Now, we don't have time to discuss this. We oh. have a major problem with one of the military bases. This time, we are facing a grave danger. The underground level contains strategic missiles with nuclear warheads. Not nuclear warheads! The voice actor clearly had to do that a few times. Nuclear. It's pronounced nuclear. Time ah. have opened a time channel in one of the oh, underground bunkers. If they get their hands on the missile launch system, they can be considered winners. <laughs> so it's, it's like the Olympics, is it? But we're, we're doing a nuclear missile dash, you know? And if they get the gold medal, they can parade about with their nuclear missiles and be like, we win! The warheads okay. have enough power to wipe out any signs of human presence from the face of the earth. So the stakes are pretty high here then. We will drop you on the face and your mission will be to reach the cargo elevator, which will take you to the underground level. Okay. Your next mission will be to reach the missile launch control and disable all of the equipment and control systems. I see. I would like to warn you that the military blah, will blah, attempt blah. to destroy anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck. Ah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay, we're here. And you can immediately see another flat plane. But I'll forgive it that. It's it's sort of a cross between the old style of Doom Shooter and the new style Oh No, stop it. These gates are locked. And you can hear in the background there's some nice sort of beats and stuff, music-wise, going on there. I'll take that. Danger! High voltage! Okay. Um... Oh! Right, hi guys. I'll just dismember you, blow you apart. No problem. But I can't afford to stay still. Like, I'm, I'm just standing still like an idiot, when I really shouldn't. Oh! Monster closet. And if you manage to dismember them, it'll slow them slightly, which is cool. Let's flip that switch. So there is strategy to uh, aiming for them. Oh, there's that face hugger like thing. I was wise to you there. I need a health pack though. There's another one. Is that dead? Oh, I killed it in one shot. Unless it's playing possum. Yep. Tight claustrophobic areas, as you can see on the map, with uh, cramped combat shooting. And the thing with the uh, the 3D models means that uh, there was a switch sort of between sort of 93 and 96, where they upped the polygon count on models and went from sort of sprite based and uh, bitmap based sort of enemies to this sort, the 3D enemies. And the difference between that and uh, your standard, oh, 3D chairs, hello, is that you can't render as many of them on screen. 
at the same time. So, their solution was to make them more tanky, make them more difficult. So instead of fighting off hordes and hordes and hordes of the same monsters as you would in Doom, you'd have significantly less but tougher enemies that you'd face 1v1. And that is why my health is abysmal, because I've been sat there like an idiot, tanking the shots. I'm back where I started. Too busy chatting. See, I thought that looked like a door, but it's not. Um, is there anything over here to... See, I thought that would activate the thing on the other side, but it didn't. So, I need to find the other activation point. Now, was there a way like out that window or something? Because these are just chairs. Huh. This could go the full 20. I'm actually very surprised at how good this is. Wait a sec. Alright, that was just the previous door. You'll see I've got my map up because I'm hopelessly lost. See, that's back where I started. I think. Um, gates are still locked and I can't get past there. So this could become an exercise in frustration. Because I can't seem to do anything around here. Wait. What was that? You've unlocked the gates. Aha. Sweet. Now we can get back. Provided my shooting hand doesn't mess up. Okay. So these gates are unlocked. Now we prepare for death. Anybody there? <laughs> Crickets chirping in the background. An eerie breeze blows. Oh! There they are. It's like they were triggered as soon as... Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> ah. So, should I leave it there? That's the million dollar question. Also, they take away your weapons if you respawn. So, uh, that's a bit difficult. Um... I think I'll leave it there, but this 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 gets a hearty recommendation. If you want one of those uh, quick style like shooters, but with a limited uh, field plane, you know, just uh, more sort of Doom style levels with less verticality, then yeah, this is absolutely up your alleyway. Uh, for some reason, I'm doing a lot better. But that will last. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh! Where'd the other one go? Oh, I killed it. Sweet. And yeah, the, uh, the level design means that you can just uh, hop back in and uh, quickly get to where you were before, more or less. Right, I was able to take him out. But uh, this level seems a little stingy with the uh, health packs. I'm down to 34 health again. I'm going to try and unlock the gates again, and I'll probably die again, and then I'll leave it. Okay, ready? Right, where are you? Moving. Ah. And I'm dead. Oh, infighting. Look at that. <laughs> that guy's jumping up trying to kill those guys. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the game. And it's pretty cool. Who would I recommend it for? It's pretty obvious. Fans of Quake, fans of Doom might get a kick out of this. I wouldn't say it's the best shooter I've ever played. I wouldn't even, you know, hold it in the same regard as the build engine ones, like Shadow Warrior. But it's better than Redneck Rampage. So, yeah, worth a try for fans of first-person shooters. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it a lot. And I usually play them a lot better than this one. Feel free to take a look at all the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see there, you can subscribe. Until next time.
What a pleasant surprise that was.